Hey, I'm Joe Kendrick, and you are in tune with Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. Very happy to be joined today by Brian McGee. How are you doing? Good, Joe. How are you? Great. Sitting on the patio of the Great Eagle in Asheville, talking about what you've been up to lately. You've been up to a lot with uh, playing gigs. You've got a show mm -hmm. coming up at the lab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the show is June 3rd, Friday, June 3rd. It's going to be uh, me with uh, a songwriter from New Jersey named PJ Bond. And uh, this is going to be the kickoff show for a three-week tour that he and I are doing together. And uh, PJ spent some time in Asheville, and he's got links to Asheville through his brother, uh, Poncho, is the singer of Sirius B. Um, so he's got some ties here, and uh, it should be a great show. Um, and our tour is going to take us down into Florida, and then up the East Coast into New England, and, uh, and then back down this way again. So, Rocking. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, uh, speaking of rocking, you've been doing a lot more than playing music. You've been uh, finding like the new creative ways to raise money for uh -huh. your music. <laughs> yeah, you had your disc come out last fall, but you also mm -hmm. had a Kickstarter campaign that was, say, mid-March time frame? Yeah, yeah, mid-March into April-ish, somewhere in there. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I knew when I recorded the record um, last year that I wanted to do to do vinyl, and so I, I mean I love I'm vinyl junkie a little bit, and um, so I knew I wanted to do that with a download card, but it, vinyl is really expensive, and I've seen some some other local bands um, have some success with the Kickstarter, and uh, so I decided to jump in, and um, we exceeded the goal, which was very helpful, and. Uh, had contributions come from uh, local people all the way up into uh, Philadelphia area from where um, my old band Plow United used to play and uh, Total Strangers donated and it was had about 65 contrib contributors in all um, helped me get to the goal so it's uh, it's being pressed right now and uh, it's gonna come out hopefully June or July and uh, yeah, it's going to have a download card, and it's going to be on green and white colored vinyl. Wow. So, and a limited edition of 500. So, get one while it lasts. Yeah, that, <laughs> this is going to be pretty vinyl. But the, do you have any discs? Still CDs? Yeah, I still have I still have yeah. the, the discs, and I still have some copies of my uh, Brian McGee and Hollow Speed record, too. Yeah. And that's at brianmcgee.com? Um, brianmcgeemusic.com. Brian .com. Yeah, .com. somebody's already got the Brian McGee. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your uh, Pennsylvania days and the transition down here, because you've been here about 10 years. Yeah. And uh, used to play a little bit more, what would you call it, more punk edge? Yeah, I mean, we were, Plow United was the band that I played in. Um, we were a three-piece punk rock band from 92 to 97, 98, and it started in high school with two of my best friends and uh, just guitar, bass, and drums. We all wrote songs. I sang everything. and. Uh, we toured the country, we got up into Canada, um, released a pile of singles and compilation songs and three full-length records. And um, and then we called it quits while we still liked each other, which was a good thing. And uh, and so I still have um, I still have some people who were into Ply United who are still coming out to see um, what I'm doing now. And uh, some of those people contributed to the Kickstarter thing, which is great. And I just, I just got back from playing a house concert to mostly people who knew me from Plow United. So it's been kind of great as we, all, as everyone's gotten older, taste have all, you know, changed enough to they like, they seem to like what I'm doing. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, I can see that. Yeah. Well, glad the Kickstarter has gone well. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking a little bit about those more punk leanings. From, from your beginnings, mm -hmm. and coming down here to yeah. Asheville, 10 years ago, well, it was a different scene, but yeah. there was still that sort of, uh, you know, something else in the musical waters that, that got you to change your direction a little bit. Yeah, um, I think it was, I think, you know, when I was still in Philadelphia, towards the end of Plow United, I had gotten interested in playing banjo, and, um, and I got turned on, all at one time, I got into the banjo, got turned on to Bob Dylan, Woody Guthrie, and the Anthology of American Folk Music. And so what brought me down to North Carolina was the John Campbell Folk School. 
because they had a class on building a banjo. So I came down to take that class. And then what I didn't realize that I was doing, though, is that, is that I didn't realize moving to Western North Carolina meant moving into a, a hotbed of traditional music. So when I got here and discovered, like, what I had been listening to mm -hmm. was happening here or came from here as well, um, it made me want to stay even more. So I've been here ever since. <laughs> It got crafty since you were here. Mm -hmm. You helped make this guitar. I did. I did. This was uh, my uh, craft school days. Took me from the folk school uh, to Haywood Community College and then up to Penland School of Crafts. And Wayne Henderson is a luthier from Rugby, Virginia. And he, uh, he taught a two-week workshop. And there were six students, and we all built this. He basically designed this off of a uh, Martin D-18. And he knows guitars upside down and backwards so this is basically kind of a Martin copy and uh, it's the only one I've played since I built it in 2004 mm. and it's, it's been great it's been a super guitar you building anything else um I haven't been building guitars but I've been working in a buddy's shop building cabinets and some furniture and, and stuff like that um, I do some instrument, I work on instruments in my attic at home when I have the time. Um, and it's something I'd like to pursue more of. Um, but for now, uh, you know, there's lots of cabinet work to do. Well, I shouldn't say that there's lots, but um, there is cabinet work to do in town. <laughs> and uh, I've been lucky to, to get some side work with some friends. Yeah. Well, Brian, it's great catching up with you here on Lingua Musica. Yeah, thanks for having and me, Joe. And definitely, everybody come out to the lab show. Yeah. And that's on June 3rd. June what 3rd. time does that start? Uh, 9 o'clock. BrianMcGeeMusic.com, and we'll be catching you eventually here at the Great Eagle late in the summer. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thanks very much. I'm Joe Kendrick thanking Jesse Ham for videography and all-around expertise from Scotty Robertson. Until next time.